Right, hello, welcome back. We're going to keep going in Act 2 and do Mountain 2 or Frozen Mountain Lake. Uh, the last teleport is installed in the pagoda across this frozen lake. This is the only teleporter remaining which you can use to take you to the satellite. Uh, which satellite are we talking? I don't know, but uh, <laughs> it would be prudent to to have it destroyed after your departure so that you cannot be easily pursued. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is a oldish level. We were originally going to join these two, as I think as we mentioned in the last one, but decided to split it up and make it two separate levels. Um, so yeah, let's get on with it. And no cutscene again, Act 2, there's fewer cutscenes. But... Uh, Yes, okay, we're back in the mountain. This time we've got to go down at first. So we start where we ended off last time from this pagoda and carry on. I uh, I think the whole thing about the... Uh, I, I swear back in the day you were like, that's supposed to start off with it on fire kind of thing behind Oh, you. really? Maybe. That would yeah. make more sense. Maybe we could... Yeah, these snipers are like turn way more powerful. So like they will just completely destroy you. Um, this is in order to make it. You know, we we're talking last time about you can just skip the level if you want in a lot of these levels. But uh, this one, it would be very easy to just like sort of boost and then fly. Um, so we tried to stop that from happening. Uh, maybe you can do it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I think you still can. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's whether you want that uh, big bonus. Let's right on. You're on the ice. What killed you? What did I, you kill yourself? I killed myself because I want to just descend properly. Right? Okay. I'm committed good. suicide. And the snipers are completely useless when you're not. When you're not. Uh, when I say that. <laughs> But they don't do anything when you're behind them. Oh my god, the dogs. So I might end up getting frustrated and just jumping off and laying it up, but um <laughs> these stupid snipers. What else do I have? End up what? Beast. I might end up just laming it up and flying over again. Uh, yeah, I guess in a, in a few of those attempts. I don't have much to say about Mountain 2. I think uh, you took this pretty much solo. I mean, oh, you wrote, that's it. You were on the tra train, weren't you? You were on a train somewhere. And you uh, drew on a piece of paper oh, on the table. I don't actually remember like where I drew that. There is, I remember having the concept. I didn't remember it was on a train. But you might be maybe right. it, um, maybe it was maybe it wasn't i'm not sure but uh i think you put that concept art in somewhere somewhere maybe? in the game it is yeah, i know I it's know scanned where. for sure no it'll be in there somewhere I th but um i think at the bottom of this mountain originally according to that concept you would be able to go under the ice and then under maybe that you did put that in there yeah put that be in. A cave basically uh, under the ice water yeah put that uh, in okay. yeah so yeah because for ages for like years no one... but i mean to the huh i to... mean like underneath you right now basically oh to the, the left oh interesting like returning to the yeah oh no i didn't i d didn't put much in this direction there is um potentially somewhere you can teleport that side but there's nothing major I'm just going to use the RPG on this guy because these stupid turrets are really strong. Uh, the rocket ones. That's what the RPGs are for. I mean, when we play sea base, I mean, when you have limited ammo, there's that whole kind of choice whether you're going to like reserve your um, or conserve your like three RPG rockets or whether you're going to like just use them to get that big turret out of the way first thing. Um, right, okay. Is that ice? 
So now we're in the ice lake. This water below you actually hurts you because it's uh, it's very cold, I guess. And you can just slide. Odd parallax choice there. <laughs> oh well, it's ah <laughs> oh, the squid. <laughs> The squid, the squid arms are really dodgy. That, um, oh, he got me! The ink, I can't see. Just you wasted my potions. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Okay, where are we? Ah, oh, he got me again! Yeah, those squid arms, like, they don't rotate properly. They do the sort of 32 direction animation thing rather than actually rotating like they should um uh because this is quite an old boss and i didn't know what i was doing um oh come on so definitely feels creepy for... <laughs> oh. oh i got him so yeah he actually gives you a die this is actually nice. the first die that we'll find oh except i don't have any um, mana left. Oh my god. Oh, you're dead. I need to die. I need Recoil. To... Yeah, I'm trying, but... Oh my god. War Beast, reload! <laughs> there we go, got it. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to be able to beat this level now, but at least we got the die. That means we can show off what the dies do after this. So a few times already we've come across I kind of dropped the... out for a second there, I missed. Well, we, I managed well, to get the, I'll see it in post. I managed to get the die. I used the war beast right. to recall, but I now have no mana, so this is going to be really difficult now. Um, <laughs> you but, can do it. This uh, is this is the whole point. This is the whole point of moving. You've you've got alternate ways to approach. Right. Okay. Well, we'll no spells uh, run basically. Well, we've got this mana field here, which is going to be helpful, and I cannot be bothered to deal with the dog, so I'm going to do this as well. Kung Fu, yeah, okay. Alright, nice. You got Kung Fu levels? Uh, I might... Oh, no, it's not. It's not. If I had Kung Fu, it would let me wall, wall jump, but I'm... it's not, so... I'm not optimistic, I'm just going to go for it. But... I mean, that would have been a good addition for this level, really, wouldn't it? Probably. You know, for a cent. Mm. Fuck it, saying that you got those fucking war beasts. Oh. Right, this guy needs RPG. So if you hit them directly, it does more damage. So. Grenadier, let's just get in his face. <laughs> okay, now here's the polar bears. So these were quite a late addition. As I said, this actually was the end point of the level for like years. And it finally added more, um, which is what we had in the concept art, or the, the level design that I did on paper. Yeah. But yeah, these polar bears are pretty crazy. So I think, yeah, we were in finalizing stages. Let's try and just avoid it, maybe. You uh, oh! and, the, and basically the level just dropped off into nothing. And it was like, what are you going to do about these polar bears? You're going to put them in or what? But we already had dogs in the level, oh so we can just reskin them, I guess. You have to make new enemies. Oh my god. Okay, I need to put this grenade setting. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is the polar bears get you. Wow, did you try and fight them? Well, one yeah. of them knocked me into the rest no. of them. So. Alright, let's go again. <laughs> Sound effects from Tekken, old school Tekken. Oh, was it? In case you didn't know. 
Yeah, uh, Tekken 1, Tekken 2, King and Armor King. Which it sounds like anyway was just like someone going into a microphone and fucking, you know, maybe putting a little audio effect on there. Be so good. I think that's the way to go. Where's that scream from? Where's the uh, <laughs> sniper scream from? Which one? Uh, oh, I think it's. The... Uh, ah! Yeah, I think it's from. It's probably like one of those Wilhelm scream kind of things that's in everything. Um, Try to put all of those in, but I think it's actually from um, like Red Alert and Command and Conquer and stuff. That's where I probably got it from. Uh, okay. Wondering if it's a Starcraft thing, like a Terran scream or something. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of Starcraft sounds. It's, yeah, I mean the sound design in general is like a mishmash from all the sorts of different games. Like a lot of the hot guns are Half Life and CS and stuff. Uh, let's see. Yeah. And yeah, I think I thinking back to that snake as well, like. I think the death sound for the snake is uh, me going <laughs> or something, <laughs> and you're like, okay, that's the only sound effect we're gonna record for. We have to use stock sound effects. Like we're breaking <laughs> a rule here. Kind of. There's a few like random ones where we got people to record. Yeah, but yeah, that that sniper is definitely um, it's definitely from Red Alert. Um, <laughs> Like that that guy on Mana, Sam's guy on Mana, yeah. he's like, whoa, are you going to shoot me? Yeah. When he dies, he goes, whoa. Yeah, but that's... that's only because like we had a leftover whoa, and we're like, oh, we got to use that. <laughs> I mean, that's the one I was thinking of, actually, when I said we recorded random stuff. Uh... You're going to fight the squid again? I think so. But... We don't need to anymore because I got the die already. But I like the I like the touch that you made the um. Well, was it a touch? Like, how did you make? To what extent did you you know have the jets the fucking snow? What the fuck are they called? Snow ski guys? Yeah. Snowmobile guys fucking uh fly off into the ice if they hit no ice basically. Oh fly off into the water. There's fish guys down here. Oh, uh, okay. So that's the secret way in. Very good. Nice. So this is basically a entirely alternate way to go. And you need to use so yeah, it's like like you said, the level was almost done, and there's like, okay, we'll add a bit more. But you didn't add a bit more. You actually added fucking loads. <laughs> You actually did make it live up to its act two difficulty. Just everything on the right, basically, of that, of that um, lake. So all of this bit was, yeah. This way, you avoid the polar bears a bit more. I also do want to show the secret. Um, so there's a Sheridan tank. Do you remember that bit? There's a Sher Where's the Sheridan tank? I'll, I'll find it in a minute. But. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. You know what? I'm good. I'm, if I might actually manage to complete the level going this way, so uh, ah, if I don't die from this guy, what the fuck? Okay. Oh, there's a polar bear here. Some generic turret. Maybe we'll just lame this polar yeah, bear. Yeah, I was off. about to say. I was pretty sure you didn't make this place free of polar bears. <laughs> I think mean, once I added one polar bear, I was just like, well, I may as well use them loads because this is the only level where they're going to appear. <laughs> It's not like the snake yeah. where there's only one in the game. Was... Yeah, then you I just... mean, thoughts. Just go out this way. I guess it requires your concentration because you don't know when you're going to get ambushed. 
Yeah, it's a kind of weird level in a way. The, the squid makes it kind of interesting. The uh, although it's probably one of the easiest dives to get. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, yeah, you don't really have to hunt for it. Where's where are the traits on that level? Yeah, that's interesting. There were none there. I think that probably some of them are hidden in the mountain, like in the last level. Let's go back, and we're gonna do. We're gonna right. show off the the uh, the dies now. So now I got this die. You've uh, you see the die here. You can change your color. Yes. Uh, I have a ton of money. Let's put now. it on. Yeah, I put it on. Um, what? Should come back with a ridiculous gun. Go to plasma gun or something. <laughs> Maybe. What about spells as well? We kind of Maybe. let's might as well do full kung fu as well because that's only like nine hundred dollars or something. Okay, well, let's do full kung fu. What's going to beat a Sheridan tank? And what's mm -hmm. going to let us survive against the Sheridan tank? I guess. Minigun's pretty good, isn't it? And maybe chainsaw. Against Sherrod. Oh, when you get once you get the top off. Yeah. yeah. Slow, you need slow time, but. I mean, I don't know what conditions you're fighting it under. I don't know if you're fighting it in like a fucking. It's like two by four box room. Yeah, it's super something. enclosed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Well, you need good teleport, I guess then. The teleport's the right so. level. Slow time is the thing we're lacking yeah. here, but I need more. To be honest, let's just do this. Let's get a mini gun. Maybe sell the Dow. War Beast was alright for that. Are you going to get temporal shift? Because ever since you talked about oh, it yeah, on that good. tutorial about Tanya, like I never really, I never really use it as a popping in and then popping out kind of way, the way you explained it. There. Well, it's six thousand, which I don't think we can really oh, afford. Oh fuck it then. I might just give myself more potions. Yeah. yeah, that's probably the most help. Yeah, all right. Sure. Maybe just. Uh... So yeah, I mean, can, these these mountain levels would probably feel a lot more epic if they're kind of fleshed out on the kind of journey they're supposed to be in many parts, um, like you say there, and like, yeah, they would be very good in in the story succession that they're meant to kind of thing. Um, nice. it's using kung fu on these guys. <laughs> Uh, I cannot use Kung Fu on the dog though, that's not happening. Maybe Chainsaw on the dog. <laughs> that's suicide really. But, uh, I think Slow Time War Beast worked last time. We could do the minigun but... <laughs> that does work. Not safe though. But Chainsaw, should we try it? Yeah, <laughs> killed each other. Try minigun. Yeah, minigun's great. It's one of my favorites. It's one of the best guns. Especially on levels. Yeah, but especially on levels when you're kind of like in the air a lot. So yeah. it kind of doubles as like keeping you floating when you shoot it at anything below you. I mean, I think like, it keeps you airborne. Yeah, seeing as seeing as this is the first time we brought the minigun, I think we should show off the like, yeah, so if you shoot it, you sort of stay in the air. So I'm not floating. You can also just shoot it to the side and literally go flying like this. Um, snipers not doing their jobs at all there. All right, well, seeing as we're here, let's go find the Sheridan tank. Nice. <laughs> Oh. Although now I'm out of ammo. It does take a very long time to reload this gun. Oh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's the downside, right? Come on, reload! <laughs> there we go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Should we just RPG this one? How many do they take again? Uh, I don't know. It's very, very realistic, obviously. Like, at least 
Yeah, okay. just like in four real life. RPGs yeah. to kill a polar bear. No. <laughs> okay, we'll just reload this. So what's this book? Can't actually read what that says. It says, I think this is a maths book from what 1800s, maybe about different dimensions. Okay, somewhere here is oh, there's another book. It's this one, How to Sing. <laughs> <laughs> I just picked some random books off. Was it Project Gutenberg or whatever? Um, I mean, Project Gutenberg was what your and Marcus's kind of uh, thing there, like. Was there any method to the man? Is there? Or was the reason, or was it? Well, picking which books, I and mean, the philosophy books mostly yeah. because it was, you know, philosophy. We wanted philosophical conversations and like Deus Ex and stuff. Uh, and I mean, these there's a lot of maths ones because I love maths, and you know, how there's a few like really random ones like yeah about identifying mushrooms and about. Yeah, how to sing apparently. I think there's a few others like weird, no, just yeah, like random choices. Well, they they definitely seem like specifically chosen. Oh, really? It really seemed like there was a lot of specific choices to me when I looked at them. Uh, I mean, you know, ish. Okay, well, yeah. Anyway, this is the secret. Well, not mean like not with any strict purpose. I mean, but you know, with an amount of thought. How did you get there? Sorry, the lag on this is terrible, so, so I can't exactly see how you went through. So there's a little. Did you just fall through the gap? No, there's like a little teleport? wooden wooden yeah. block that you take out there, and then you get into this like sort of glassier bit, yeah. and you go down, and there's. Uh... Oh, that's great. Oh, I should have got ADS. But... He's not moving his... Did EMP it or something? The turret? Yeah, he's not yeah, moving exactly. his turret. What's going on there? Maybe he doesn't have any room? Yeah, I don't know. So if I take out this turret on top... Oh! Yeah, there we go. Now... Oh, there you go. Easy. Although these guys are still shooting me. Nice. <laughs> And now, just like in the uh, opening cutscene, yeah. we chainsaw this tank down. Although I don't have um, ocular implants, so I have no idea yeah, how much make health. Yeah, sure it doesn't blow your head off. He might well blow I think head take off. some potions beforehand, right? Yeah. Well, I'm on max. Just gonna... Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, and I found a trait box. <laughs> right. So that's where one of them is. I didn't know that was there. Whoa! God, the range is so much more for that. Like they're based on the dogs, they're basically reskinned dogs, but obviously more powerful as well. So I wasn't expecting him to jump that far. We don't really need to take him out, but. <laughs> no, fuck it. There's a lot of grenades to kill one polar bear. Alright, maybe we'll get the minigun out, that seems to do pretty well against them. Was there anything up here? Seeing like... <laughs> yeah, he definitely put some on the roof, I swear, or something on the roof. Uh, I guess not. I, I think it's just the alternate way if you don't just want to fight all the polar bears. Yeah. But then you don't get that secret there. Ooh. And you know. Just because it's there. Because it's the scenery. Seeing opportunities here. Like... You kill all the polar bears and then like... Peter descend in a helicopter and fuck you up <laughs> and then give you an info link, angry info link first. Alright, well we nice. got the trait box. Cool, yeah, that's the, that's the level. I uh, don't think there's much more to say. I mean, I'm sure, yeah, there's more secrets and trait boxes. I don't think there's any more Well, fully I guess interesting the final ways. question is mounting one and mounting... Um... I... 
I don't know. They're kind of close in my head because I think definitely would have said Mountain 2 before that secret that we were trying to like etherealize all the way down and land in there. But that's kind of fun to do. So if you're doing that secret, then I prefer probably Mountain I don't 1. Know. But Mountain 2 is more interesting level in general. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. There was something about the ascent, I guess, on Mountain One, or maybe it's just because Mountain One's so early to me. It's kind of just seems like a classic. I mean, they're both. Yeah, I don't know. It's a hard, hard one. I think. I think. I don't know. Yeah, at least they're different enough from each other, really. Yeah. In just the simple way that they're just fucking inverted, <laughs> inverted in fucking terrain. Yeah, Basically. I mean, I was going to say this when you end up skipping a lot, but actually, to be fair, you probably end up skipping Mountain One a lot more. You'll just float all the way to the top. Um, yeah, and then you're pretty much done because it's so short. Yeah. But yeah, when you are bothered to do it, it's it's good to ascend. I think it, in in that way, it's a kind of user friendly level. Yeah. In a sense, because it's quite a very simple kind of thing to work out. And yeah. Yeah, this one less so, All right. <laughs> for sure. Um, <laughs> well, a lot of ambushes, I guess. Yeah. And then we got Rapids, like, next up in Act 2. Yeah, R Rapids probably wouldn't chrono chronologically come after Mountains. Uh, I think Rapids was always supposed to be, like, very late on because it's so, it's very hard yeah so i mean the progression of act two is also weird because you you unlock a bunch of different starting points along parts of act one so you, there's a lot of like mini branches that get unlocked in act two and then finally they all culminate into one thing at the end um once you've done them all but yeah so this this is like a huge step up in difficulty right like but we'll get there. We won't do that now. Yeah. Um, cool. Up to you. Well, let's end the episode there anyway. Um, cool. Sounds good. <laughs>